Hi, I'm Reverend Gary Kurth, Pastor Gary Kurth. We're here uh, in our ministry center and we've been here for about four years now. The history goes back to uh, work days that we did in the neighborhood with a local organization that revitalized. And those times, uh, every month we'd have a work day. And during those times, uh, little by little, God was showing Cindy and I um, just what it was gonna be like to be here and what it meant to us. Uh, little by little, God started revealing that we were called to be here. Um, it is one of those things where it just took almost four years or three years of those work days. I felt God's voice and heard God's voice in my heart. And it was an overwhelming sense of, I heard his voice say, why aren't you going? For before that, we were looking for someone to be the first boots on the ground to move to the neighborhood and to start a ministry because the work days were awesome but we knew that God wanted to do more here. We just didn't know who that would be. At first I said, yeah, we need to find that guy. And uh, little did I know that God was changing my heart and speaking to me and calling me that, that I was that guy and Cindy was my wife that would, uh, that would be here together to start this ministry. And so here I am standing in the ministry center four years later from that time. And uh, I can tell you that I've never felt more alive in my walk with God since his call that day. And we've, since then, we've moved to the neighborhood. Uh, we bought an old house and we've uh, we fixed it up well enough that we're very comfortable there. But in the neighborhood, we've started so many different things uh, to be able to reach out to the neighborhood. It was a slow start. And so therefore, we just started to, to, just to try to meet people uh, because people weren't really necessarily uh, flooding our door or coming to our house. It was, uh, God literally said, you need to go and you need to get out and you need to greet people. And so we started with a wave and a smile. And I'll never forget that. I said, God, this is silly. We're just out in the front yard waving at anybody that would pass by. And it was just one of the most simplest thing uh, that, we, that God gave us to do. And it was amazing how people stopped and how people responded. All of a sudden, heads would turn and smiles would start. And it was just one of those processes that God used the very simple things in life just being a neighbor who is called to the neighborhood to spread the love of Christ. And that's really what we're all about. Uh, the neighborhood ministry, our vision statement, our mission statement has become very simple. Uh, Hope for Renewal seeks to serve, to build relationships, to share the love of Christ, and to share the gospel message to this neighborhood. And so that's how it all started. Um, and that's how we got here. Uh, it's just been an amazing, amazing journey uh, since then. Uh, we've, we've focused on several different areas uh, here in the neighborhood. One is outreach, which is the serving part. And we serve by several different things. We serve by prayer walking. And that was one of the things that uh, Cindy, my wife, told me before we moved here. Uh, the story goes that I felt God say, why aren't you going? But I also heard him say in that moment that I want to take this neighborhood and take the the struggles and the poverty and all those things and just to make it empowered by Jesus to overcome those things. And I know we're just one couple in a neighborhood and one ministry, but we knew we were called to one life at a time to redeem and to give new life to a neighborhood in the name of Jesus. And so when I went home and told Cindy that that day, basically she told me, um, we, she was by the stove cooking and I, I kind of uh, walked in and I knew what God had said. And uh, I said to her, I said, so what do you think about the neighborhood and the ministry in the Idora neighborhood? And she said, I've wondered why you're not going. And it was from that moment on, but she gave me two stipulations that she would go. She said, I will go, but it means that one, that whatever house we get, it has one bathroom and one sink that works. And, uh, and that's exactly what we found. We found an old, old house that needed, they call it a lot of love here in the neighborhood. And it was uh, barely livable, but it had one sink in the bathroom and one toilet in the bathroom that flushed. And that was enough to say, Cindy, I'll go. But the second stipulation was more impactful. She said, I will not go until we prayer walk every single street in the neighborhood before I leave here. And so that's what we decided to do, and that has been the foundation of our ministry, is prayer walking the neighborhood. And so we are relying on God's power and authority uh, in this neighborhood. And that's a little brief history of how we got here and, and why we're here. We're here to give the love of Christ 
through serving and building relationships. 